What you just saw was a Death Star Tesla coil, brought to you by my good friend Sean. He's been considering making a YouTube channel. I'd say let's make that a reality. I'll leave the link in the description for his channel. Make sure you subscribe and maybe we can get him to put more of his adventures online. Let's take a look back at where this adventure actually started. I was trying to build a ZBS Tesla coil and was having a really rough time with it. As you can see, I was setting the coil on fire. Sean contacted me on my channel and said he had the answer for what I was looking for. And he showed me this coil. Everything was working properly. Wasn't on fire, everything in tune, everything showed up in the oscilloscope great. Then he showed me what it can really do. Little did I know, this was just the beginning of what Sean was going to show me. He had some designs that were completely different than a conventional Tesla coil. The coil you just saw is not wound like anything I have ever seen before. Every one of the slices that you see on this coil are spots where the wire can be wound inside the slot. He's not just coupling one magnetic field to another magnetic field. He's coupling one magnetic field to multiple magnetic fields. Every single slice that you see has its own magnetic field. As they build up, it looks more like an AC flyback than a Tesla coil. However, the power that comes out of this is completely intense. Now that version 1 was a resounding success, he moved on to version 2. This version proved to be way more powerful. It was having a problem with the number one coil coupling to the number two. To solve this, he had to take the number one coil and put it at 30 degrees. This seemed to solve the issue. Most of us would be happy that we changed the way the Tesla coil looks and works. But then again, you wouldn't know Sean if you didn't know that it's going to the next level. So here we go. We get ready for the Death Star. This is the first time that I've ever seen a round Tesla coil. And the fact that he's building it like an AC flyback with such intense power 
is absolutely amazing. Let's look a little more in depth at what's going on here. As he did with the last two Tesla coils. This one is individually sliced and every single slice has several wires in it before it goes on to the next level, creating multiple magnetic fields. Because the power of these Tesla coils are so intense, they have to be placed in epoxy resin, then placed in a vacuum chamber to remove all the bubbles. It's easy to get lost in all the sparks going off on a Tesla coil. So I wanted to bring your attention to this. Look down at the number one coil. There's no way that's normal. Sean doesn't just push the boundaries with the number two coil. He pushes the boundaries with the number one coil. He is constantly improving himself in every single build. I know a lot of you out there are going to have a lot of questions for what Sean's doing here. Sean's going to be live with us Monday the 19th on the French Think Tank. He's going to answer all your questions. He's going to give a great presentation of exactly what he's working on. I hope to see all of you there. And please, let's subscribe to his channel and let's get him to build this thing out and show us exactly all the builds that he's doing. Trust me. Sean's the guy to look for when you go to build a Tesla coil. The link to his channel will be in the description. So Sean, here you go. One last time. Let's fire it up. Sean, with work like this, everybody's going to want to see you build out your channel because we just want to see what you're going to do next. 